We hate the news because we love the haters online. That's my title. And this is the title from Futurity. Cynical voices online cut trust in journalism. And here's an excerpt. In a new study, researchers found that real life and online social interactions can strongly influence a person's trust in newspapers, TV, and online journalism. But when it comes to online interactions, cynical views are the most influential. A study surveyed 350 students at a group of residential living learning centers at Rutgers University, New Brunswick, in which students with similar academic disciplines live in the same dorms and take classes together, thus forming strong social connections. Over the course of a semester, the researchers found that the strongest social influences on a student's trust in news media comes from face-to-face -face interactions with politically like-minded people. But social media interactions with online contacts were different. Online contacts who distrusted the news media, and not those who had high levels of trust in traditional news media, strongly influenced students' views. Uh -huh. All right. I hope you followed that because I'm coming back to it. With face-to-face -face interactions, we can choose our conversation partners, but we receive their view without artificial filters and might be swayed by either positive or negative views. But on social media, we can selectively pay attention to some of the stories shared with us and ignore others. People have a no negativity bias. Negativity bias. Hold on. They do have a negativity bias. They do. That's true. But, and that makes it more likely that they will notice more the cynical and disparaging posts, say, stu study, study author, whatever. Okay, so that, 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 that's true too, but, but for them to draw any conclusion that cynical voices online cut trust in journalism, this is insane. There's so many, I, I mean, how are they making? I, this is another, this is the statistics, Danville statistics, and how you can look at them and you make correlations, you make causes and effects, and you may not be looking at causes and effects, but just, you know, two symptoms of some other underlying issue that's not related to even what you're looking at. I mean, statistics, they, if you look at them in the wrong way, they can really make the world look very different. So... The researchers found that the strongest social influence on a student's trust in news media comes from face-to-face -face interactions with politically like-minded people. But that's not true. The students trust in... Wait, wait. I, where are they getting this from? The strongest influences on a student's trust in news media comes from face-to-face -face interactions with politically like-minded people. Man, maybe it is now. I don't remember it like that when I was going to college. We weren't hibernated towards... As a matter of fact, we, we hardly ever even talked about what our political views were back then. I went to college back in the late 80s, early 90s. So, wow. That's a very different uh, reality to live in. If, if that's actually true, that's just weird. That's... I don't... Social influences on a student's trust in news media comes from face-to-face -face interactions. I, I don't understand. I don't know how they're making that correlation, okay? But social media interactions with online contacts were different. Online contacts who distrusted the news media. You know, here, here's, here's, here's the thing that I don't understand. How are they putting this? They're lumping just online contacts who distrusted the news media with negative so they're saying that they're they're basically making this this connection this stupid connection between cynical voices and on and 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 voices who distrust the news media so you are a cynical voice if you distrust the news media it could possibly be that the news media is is gonzo's it's 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 so obvious to anyone that's watching the the levels that they're going to it, whether whether it is to to favor a, a partisan camp, which is I think very strongly likely in in case of the uh, in you know I, I think it is absolutely strongly likely, but it's also 
chasing after the very thing that this 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 whole study would it produces this even even this title cynical voices online cut trust in journalism i mean that is like you know what a what a poke they, that's a poke in the eye of people who know better they they know full well why they don't throw, they don't trust the media because the media literally is fake news it's not a joke i mean it may have started as a joke but it literally is fake news the the news media is owned by I, I think there may be at most 25 companies that between them own 95% of the news media that has access to, you know, 99% of the uh, access to, or I don't know. It, I have to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm working on something on that line. I'm, I'm working on some stuff that I'm going to start putting in the show periodically. But that's... And it's a media that, that gets shriller and shriller and shriller and more and more hateful and divisive and shock and all and 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 it's the it's 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 people are turning away from the news media in part because it's too negative. I I mean this study is just this this is a study that begs for a narrative. This is a study that says how can you know either it was done with um, well actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was a narrative that baked for the study. Probably that way. Uh, unless, of course, they, they stumbled upon something like, oh, wait, you know, we extrapolated this, then we can get this, and we get this. We're going to get ourselves some funding. I don't know if they get funding or if it just helps them with their resumes to get a study that gets noticed by Futurity. Listen, Futurity, I got to say, you listen, I love Futurity. Uh, I, we we, we uh, look at their stuff all the time. They're awesome. But come on, guys, guys, guys! I have to say that I've been watching these guys, uh, Revenge of the Sis, and they're like, now I want to warn you folks, especially my left-leaning friends. They are, but even for left-leaning people, they're they're pretty pretty reasonable to listen to, especially when they're going after the right. You'll enjoy that. You will enjoy that. They're they're funny dudes. Just they're, I mean, they're both legit comedians. They do stand up, so. So they're they're really like authentically funny in and of itself. I think whatever topic they were talking about, they'd probably be funny. So that they got that going for them. But uh, <laughs> they 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 tear down Owen Benjamin something fierce. And uh, <laughs> this is the perfect picture here that I picked here with the little trolley troll. I mean, that troll is delicious. Well, whatever. I'll let you read that for yourself. I don't want to. I don't want to glorify that image. I don't want to glorify that hate. But they're always busting on Owen Benjamin because Owen Benjamin says, "Guys," and they, and now this thing is in my head. So every time I I hear the word "guys," I just think of uh, Owen Benjamin, and well, actually, I think of their version of Owen Owen Benjamin. Guys, guys, he's a wizard. He's a wizard, guys. So I just thought I'd interject. I, I strongly recommend you check out their show. And uh, again, though, oh, oh, to my left-leaning friends, I, that's right. Uh, they, they, they're, um, they're basically, I think, more or less self-described. Uh, they're, they're fascist light, but they are not. Uh, they have no race interest, or uh, yeah, they're, they're. One guy is is Cuban, although if 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 you tell them I sent you, be sure. He, to ask the Cuban if he's Puerto Rican because he loves that, uh, but uh, yeah, they're they're not into any of that. Uh, they they bust on that that kind of stuff. They bust on the uh, oh, you'll love what they do with the alt right. They they rip them up up and down, and they do it with uh, humor and class. And uh, I mean low class, but class class uh, class is class, right? It doesn't really matter. 